Fortnite Battle Royale has quickly become one of the most popular games in the world, and Epic keeps updating its sprawling map, and that means there are always new secrets to find. Hi, I'm Darian P. Mac with the Leaderboard, and we're sharing some of the coolest references and Easter eggs hidden within Fortnite. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to become part of our notification squad. Optimus Prime. Anyone can get lost while venturing through Fortnite's giant map alone. It would be cool to have a friend like the leader of the Autobots by your side. Maybe you can't have Optimus Prime fighting alongside you in Fortnite, but he is an Easter egg hanging out on the map. You can spot him on the road near a small settlement just southwest of the Lonely Lodge. Look for a stack of cars piled onto one another. At first glance, this doesn't seem like anything spectacular. The cars create a humanoid figure. While he can't join you on the front lines, the statue does spawn a golden chest at the top pretty fast frequently, so it's not a wrong spot to drop in and possibly get some decent loot right from the beginning of the match. Gnomes it's easy to lose track of what's happening in Fortnite when a battle is heating up, especially near the end when it comes time to start building up your fortress to make one last stand before the storm closes in to its final area. But did you know that while you're building your fort, you are enlisting the help of some gnomes? If you're building up brick walls in a game, it's possible that a garden gnome might appear in between some of the bricks. There's no reason as to why the gnomes appear in your brick wall, and there is no way to make it happen with any specific action. Sometimes a gnome will just pop into your wall and cozy up in the creases. <laughs> While it might seem like an afterthought, Fortnite was built as a PvE game first before the Battle Royale mode took over the world. Gnomes were much more prominent in the Save the World mode and are required to be destroyed as daily task. The Ring Horror isn't usually the first word people think of when trying to describe Fortnite. However, someone on the Epic development team seems to be a fan of a particular horror movie, so much so that they have included it within the map. At the blue and white home in Pleasant Park, there is a TV in the living room. It may seem like a regular old television set at first, but if you stare at it for a few seconds, it will jump up and display an eerie image. It's hard to tell what exactly it is, but it appears to be some blue bear or board charging at the screen. It lingers for a few moments and then disappears. This strange phenomenon happens to multiple TVs throughout the various homes within the map. While it's not a creepy little girl crawling out of the screen, it still feels like homage to the Japanese horror film The Ring, with a ghost charging at you through a TV screen. <laughs> and that is another way to keep players up at night. Animal Structures Fortnite at its core was always about building unique structures to survive, so it makes sense that Epic Games wanted to have a little fun of their own and build out some impressive structures throughout the map. In Season 3, Epic added in three animal structures, a llama, crab, and fox. They added in a llama since it's the most prominent figure within Fortnite. The llama can be found just north of Jung Junction, and it might just be the cutest thing ever. The crab can be found in the Moisty Mire right at the edge of the map. It's relatively easy to see if you jump out of the party bus and head towards Moisty Mire immediately. While the crab isn't as decked out as a llama, it's still pretty dang adorable to see. Lastly, we have the fox. This pal can be found east of the Wailing Woods and is pretty easy to spot while gliding toward the area. The fox has a bit more detailed work to him than the crab companion and is made out of brick rather than wood. At the base of the fox's tail is a door that will take you to the top of the sly animal. The neat part about all these structures is that they can spawn more sweet loot which makes them suitable spots to drop in. These eggs give players the chance to grab some weapons ASAP and have some shelter while they figure out a game plan. Yogi Bear have you ever gotten hungry and just crave some good old picnic snacks while playing Fortnite? Well, you're not alone. Apparently, Yogi Bear is a big fan of Fortnite and had to sneak his way into the game to steal some of those picnic baskets. In the Lonely Lodge, you can find Yogi Bear hiding in plain sight. It may not be the Yogi Bear, but there is a stuffed bear right in the middle of the lodge, and it's possible that it's Yogi. The dead giveaway is that he has a backpack on him and it looks like he tried to run away with some picnic snacks in it. Sadly, he got stuffed before he could make it out. We only hope the actual yogi is out there somewhere safe enjoying some tasty sandwiches and maybe some Fortnite as well. Creepy Teddy Bears well, on the subject of bears, there's a hidden bear within Fortnite that's not Yogi and is 100% super scary. It can be found in the light blue home at the Salty Springs. The bear itself is on the second floor, and while it might seem like a harmless teddy bear, it's something far worse. If you place your aiming reticle over it, you'll notice that it changes from white to red to signal that it is indeed an enemy. As you know, your reticle only turns red when targeting enemy players, and this, a uh, teddy bear. 
So the obvious solution here is to shoot it, right? Well, if you do shoot it, the bear will just disappear. It doesn't break apart or anything, but rather once it's shot, a puff of smoke appears and the bear immediately disappears. Okay, so it would be fine if it was just one bear, right? But it turns out another creepy bear is hiding within the map. This bear can be found just southwest of the fatal fields on a bridge. The bear is on a tractor and appears to be trying to drive it. Again, if you aim your reticle at the bear, it'll turn red. And if you shoot it, it'll just poof and disappear once more. These bears are up to something and I don't like it. There are a bit of bears scattered throughout the island of Fortnite and there hasn't been any confirmation as to why they're on the map and are technically enemies. Maybe one day everyone in the map can rally together and defeat all the bears to see what happens. Possibly the most creepy teddy bear of the bunch can be found in a gas station just west of Tilted Towers. If you break down a wall on the second floor of the gas station, a hidden room will reveal itself. In that room is a car with, you guessed it, another creepy teddy bear. Only this time, if you aim at it for a few seconds, it will just disappear altogether, even if you don't shoot it at all. It'll just completely vanish. These bears feel like they're most definitely part of some cult or something. Maybe they spend a little too much time in Hope County, Montana, Far Cry. While we may never know why the game recognizes these stuffed animals as enemies, it still doesn't hurt to make them disappear just in case they are in a giant group and are trying to secure that number one victory royale win. Facing World's Maps In case you didn't know, Epic Games made their mark in the video game industry by creating the popular Unreal Tournament series. Unreal Tournament in itself set a foundation of online shooters and the Unreal team is the actual developers of the Battle Royale version of Fortnite. That makes this next easter egg a bit of a nostalgic and happy one. On the western side of Pleasant Park, it's possible to find the home of some diehard Unreal Tournament fans. One of the rooms has a poster of what appears to be some structures in space. It's actually a poster of the Facing Worlds map from the original Unworld Tournament, which is one of the freshest maps ever. It's two giant towers with a bridge connecting them. Oh, and it's in space, and the Earth is just casually rotating around it. This scene is definitely one of the most intriguing Easter eggs in Fortnite, and it's nice to see the Unreal team paying homage to, well, themselves. The Soccer Field It's always kind of fun when you can play a game within a game, and Epic Games thought so too. There's a soccer field placed in the map right between Snobby Shores and Tilted Towers. It's possible to glide straight there from the party bus and land right on top of it. There is, of course, a soccer ball placed right in the middle of the field. The ball can be kicked around, and it's actually possible to score a goal as well. Each time a goal is scored, some fireworks and confetti will shoot up and a scoreboard will keep track of all the points scored. The soccer field doesn't appear to have any sponsorships aside from the burger shop in the map, Der Burger. Since its logo, Der Burger, is wrapped around the field like an advertisement. If you've ever wished, gosh, it would be neat to be able to play FIFA and Fortnite at the same time like a normal person, now you can thanks to the 100% official soccer simulator in Fortnite. Crash Party Bus not every party can be as cool as the one going on in the party bus at the start of each match. In fact, not all party buses are created equally. On top of a mountain just east of Greasy Grove, you can stumble upon a broken down party bus. It's doubtful that this is the same party bus you can ride in on since you can paraglide from the bus and see the crash one upon your descent. Take it as a lesson that is sometimes partying too hard can be a bad thing, even in Fortnite. While this bus may not be partying anymore, it's still an excellent spot to drop in on. There is a chance that two chests can spawn here making an ideal place to get an advantage in the game from the beginning. If anything, the dead party goers will want you to take their loot and keep the party going. It does beg the question though, just how many parties have ended up in a crash on this island? Emotes and skins. Now on to the part where we dish out on all the easter eggs you can't stumble upon but you can indeed unlock. With Fortnite Battle Royale Season 3 going full speed ahead, there is a multitude of rewards for players to earn as they move through the battle pass. One in particular is the John Wick skin. This skin costs a whopping 150 V-Bucks a tier, however, the joy that you experience running around as the legendary assassin is priceless and in the running to become a fan favorite. Along with this stellar addition, there are more cinematic references that were added with the most recent update. For instance, the Rust Lord skin was apparently taking inspiration from Guardians of the Galaxy's Star-Lord. The two share an uncanny resemblance, so we cannot doubt that Marvel has some role to play in this. On top of that, the Rust Lord appears to be a fan of his own game. He's rocking a pin on his jacket that is the U in the Unreal Engine logo, which is the engine that the game runs on. Plus, Epic Games actually made the Unreal Engine, and it is one of the most popular game engines in the world. 
And last but not least, Fortnite has a slew of emotes that pay homage to pop culture. In keeping the respect to the Star-Lord, the Crank emote is a reference to the first Guardians of the Galaxy film. When the Guardians are first taken prisoner and are taking their mugshot, Peter Quill aka Star-Lord slowly cranks up his middle finger to the officers. We also have to give love to the emote that started it all, the default dance that everyone starts out with. While it might just look like a goofy dance at first, diehard fans of the TV series Scrubs will know that it's actually the dance Turk does to the song Poison by Belle B. DeVoe. The Rocket Rodeo dance could also be paying homage to the legendary film director Stanley Kubrick. One of the most famous scenes Kubrick ever filmed was from his movie Dr. Strangelove or How I Stopped Worrying and Loved the Bomb, in which the character Major Kong literally rides on an atomic bomb straight into the ground. This scene has been parodied numerous times in pop culture and it wouldn't be surprising if the Rocket Rodeo dance is another homage to the famous scene. The Fresh Dance Moves emote is none other than the Carlton dance from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Take the L, you can imagine performs the exact movements by the clown from Derry, Maine, IT. One of the newer emotes, Best Mates, refers to the video The Band of the Bold, which is a video series made by Marlon Webb. The Floss is a dance made famous by the Backpack Kid on Instagram who has made the dance insanely popular by performing it in every corner of the internet and in Katy Perry's Swish Swish music video, which is basically a highlight reel for memes. Also, our favorite, the legendary Salt Bay meme, to end your battles on a strikingly fancy note. Now, obviously guys, that's not all of them, but really, that's why the comments exist. There you have it once again, I'm Darian P. Matt with the leaderboard, and these are some of the coolest Easter eggs we have found in Fortnite. What are some of your favorite Easter eggs in the game? Comment below and let us know. Don't forget to click that bell icon to become part of the notification squad. And remember, you can win a Switch, a PS4, or an Xbox One of your choice by entering our weekly console giveaway. Just go to www.leaderboard.nyc slash giveaway to get started. And if you like getting more from your video game, subscribe to the Leaderboard, your home for video game facts.